this really is an interesting VDB. And before I get into the specifics of this coin, we'll talk a little bit about the VDB coin itself uh, and why it is more rare than just the typical 1909 or any other uh, wheat penny, for that matter, um, outside of errors or variations or etc. Um, the VDB that's placed at the bottom of the coin is there for Victor David Brennan, who was obviously the designer uh, of the Lincoln wheat scent with the double ears, uh, wheat ears on the back. Uh, but the coin brought widespread criticism uh, because of the prominence of his initials on the reverse. Uh, and it was so heavily criticized, it sparked their removal midway through 1909. Uh, which is the only year that it appears there. Uh, in 1918, you'll actually see them reappear on the front on Lincoln's shoulder, and those still exist today, as that is actually the longest-running uh, front of a penny that we have had in the United States. Uh, so as we get into the specifics of this coin, what I really like, um, when I find unique, BDBs or when I find unique colors, they really, really stand out to me. Uh, this one has really good strikes on the wheat ears. Uh, there's a little bit of a nick, it looks like, on the left side, but um, for the quality of this coin, I'm not going to fault it too much on that. The coin itself is great uh, because it's a solid strike. There's no flat spots that we commonly see with the wheat sense uh, through the one and through the, the CE part of the scent uh, where there's die clashes and things like that that occur. Uh, there's solid strikes on all the way across the Aeropluribus Unum on the top and we can even zoom in on that. Uh, you see there's very, very strong lettering on here um, with the strikes. Uh, there's no blurring. There's no doubling. That's just a very, very well-struck coin. Um, the only thing I've noticed is that there is a little bit of doubling on the VDB. Um, but, you know, the, again, that can just be a variation that, that can increase its value. Um, as we look to the front of this coin, this is beautiful. We have the typical 1909 um, to 1958, or actually the current design that, that we see now uh, with this penny. But what we don't always see is this coloring. Um, it goes from a grayish on the, uh, what we'll call the two o'clock, and then all the way to a very strong red purple and into a blue um all the way down at the oh seven o'clock and it's just something that you don't see very often with this uh, radial gradient is what it looks like it's almost like it was purposely placed on this coin um after observing this coin it has not been altered it's not one that has been um cleaned to get these effects this is just a really strong beautiful example of a lincoln wheat vdb